Hello, gentlemen. Welcome back to the Men's Club, where we delve into the essence of high-value men. They embody the essence of true masculinity, exuding leadership, charm, and sophistication effortlessly. These men are not just individuals of means and influence, but they navigate life's challenges with courage and pride, captivating both women and men alike. Their discerning nature in relationships sets them apart, steering clear of gold diggers and clingy types. Join us as we explore why high-value men are drawn to a different caliber of women and why it matters. Before we dive in, subscribe to join your own club so you don't miss out on future uploads. Number 13 Motor Mouth This type chatters incessantly about every topic that crosses her mind, no matter how mundane or unimportant it may be. She will drive you crazy with her never-ending monologues about the guy at work who never makes a new pot of coffee when he finishes the last one and the woman at the supermarket who wears too much makeup. The worst type of motormouth is the one whose favorite topic of conversation is herself. If you manage to make it through hours of listening to her talk about the new shoes she wants to buy or her lower back pain, you are prepared to survive anything. Usually high-value men don't like these types of girls. Number 12. The Clingy Girl This girl is a nuisance who can't go anywhere or do anything without the company of her partner. She'll adopt your interests, call 20 times a day, and fly off the handle anytime she's not around to monitor your behavior. This type of girl will smother any chance of you missing her by insisting that you spend every waking moment with her, refusing to let you go out with the boys or spend any significant amount of time with anyone else. Number 11. The Insecure Girl An insecure girl can make your life a living hell. She will make little things seem big and complicated. She will call and text you incessantly just to figure out what you are up to. An insecure girl won't appreciate you having friends. Also, you cannot expect trust in a relationship like this. So high-value men never date insecure women. Number 10. Professional Gossip never plan to date or marry any girl who is a gossip. If you do, then you have made a big mistake. Whether she is talking about other people in your family or a co-worker, gossip is gossip. But the worst is that woman who gossips about her husband to her friends and family. Kelvin Thompson describes gossip to be more damaging than adultery. And that's because people that gossip never believe they're doing anything wrong. But everyone knows that adultery is wrong. That simply means you should stay away from any girl that gossips because gossip leads to other gossip. Number 9. The Needy Girl Sometimes it's nice to know that your girlfriend feels like she needs you, even if it is just to reach the higher shelves in her kitchen or get rid of spiders that have wandered into her apartment. Some women take that neediness way too far, however, and once she has a boyfriend she finds it difficult to function without your presence sometimes going so far as to cut off all contact with her friends so that she can spend her waking hours hanging out with you. Of course, you don't get a say in whether you want a break from her from time to time. Number 8. The Gold Digger The Gold Digger is just there to drain you, no strings attached. The Gold Digger will compliment you on your expensive watch and ask you what kind of car you drive, where you live, and what you do for a living. These girls don't play there is a huge chance she is not just dating you alone. She has a sugar daddy somewhere in the city. She'll constantly size you up within the first five minutes and drop you just as quickly if your cash flow runs out and you can't take her shopping anymore. These types of women will just suck your wallet dry and leave, drop you like a bad habit. Number seven, women obsessed with marriage. Many women are infatuated with the idea of marriage. They've planned out their lives to the finest detail, and they see happiness as some sort of utopia that they can create by following certain steps. They must have two children by the time they're 32, and they had better be living in a cute white house with a pug and a quirky neighbor who does good impressions. If any girl mentions making a family or getting married before you've even gotten to know her, run away. Number six, materialistic. Well, there is nothing really wrong with liking materialistic things. However, if a girl is with you only because you shower her with gifts, 
then maybe it is time you think about where you want to take this relationship to. If your girl constantly talks about getting her gifts, shopping for her, taking her out to fancy dinners, and is never available when you need her emotionally, and this is the type of woman you should not date. Number 5. The Constant Nagger Stand-up comics love to make jokes about nagging wives, but the nagging doesn't just start the day after you say I do. While both sexes can be guilty of nagging their partners, it is definitely something that is perceived to be a mainly female trait. Indeed, the former head of the health service in the UK even said that men have a shorter life expectancy than women because their wives nag them to death. So being nagged by your girlfriend to go to the shops or pick up after yourself isn't just annoying. It could be damaging to your health too. Number four, want to have it all chick. These chicks are always interested in what other people have, not minding that they have the same. For example, she has red shoes, but she saw the neighbor wearing purple, and immediately she prefers that purple color. Any woman like that never gets satisfied with anything. If you want to date that type of woman, then make sure your bank account is loaded because she will leave you when you can't satisfy her needs. Number three, radical feminist. There's nothing wrong with dating a modern woman. Feminists are happy to pay their own way, don't need a guy to take care of them 24 seven, and are often better at DIY than their male partners. However, beware of the feminist who says she believes in equality of the sexes when what she really means is that women are vastly superior and all the problems on earth can be traced back to men. If that sounds like your girlfriend, then you have a feminist on your hands and you can expect to be belittled and demeaned for the entirety of your relationship. Number two, women who don't give space. If you find yourself warding off incessant phone calls about nothing from your brand new girlfriend, you may have inadvertently landed a clinger. There are some girls out there who just can't get enough of their boyfriends, no matter how inappropriate the situation may be, even at a funeral. Expect a call if you don't answer. Expect a text whining about you not answering your phone. Every guy needs some space and alone time. So if a girl can't give that to you, you shouldn't start a relationship with her. Number one, indecisive. Lastly, the indecisive. A woman like this will take your heart on quite a ride because she doesn't really know what she wants. One moment she's into you, and the other moment she's confused and wants to take a step back. This internal struggle is not going to be resolved anytime soon. So do yourself a favor and find someone who's just as into you as you are into them. Healthy relationships are marked by peace, not by constant doubt and regret. So that's it. If you enjoyed this video, write 100% in the comment section. Now, you need to watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. It will show you 10 signs she's ready for sleep with you. Make sure to watch it now. Join your own club. Thanks for watching.